Israel said its troops were currently engaged in face-to-face -face combat, calling on air support as well as shelling when it needed it. A video released by the military shows troops and tanks going through grassland to what appears to be a bombed-out building. The offensive, however, has taken a toll. Israel said that it has lost about a dozen soldiers since it began. Hamas said it is fighting back. On Friday, it said it killed several Israeli soldiers, as well as destroyed tanks and other infrastructure. Hamas has also accused Israel of striking near three hospitals in Gaza City. One of the hospitals, Al-Shifa Hospital, Hamas said that it, Israel hit an ambulance as well as other cars while staff were taking patients out of the hospital to go towards the Rafah border to take them into Egypt. Israel acknowledged hitting an ambulance, but it said that Hamas was using it for its operations. Israel says that Hamas uses hospitals as well as other infrastructure for its operations and that it uses civilians as human shields. Meanwhile, the humanitarian situation inside Gaza is becoming more and more catastrophic. More than 9,000 people have been killed, according to the Hamas-run Ministry of Health, and hundreds of thousands of people are still in the north where this act of fighting is taking place. In recent days, the United Nations said that people sheltering in its schools, which have turned into, into shelters, that four of those were hit and about a dozen people were killed. Israelis were on heightened alert on Friday after the speech by Hezbollah leader Nasrallah. Israel didn't respond directly to the speech, but I spoke to one resident, Misha, who's living in the north. He said that while Nasrallah's speech didn't move the needle for him, people there are living in fear. They are hearing rockets in areas where they have never heard them before. Amid all of this activity has been increased diplomacy. On Friday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken came to Israel for the third time since the war began. He told Netanyahu that Israel, the United States stood behind Israel. However, he said that there needed to be more aid that was coming into Gaza. There needed to be more focus on protection of civilians and that there needed to be a humanitarian pause. First, Blinken met with Netanyahu behind closed doors. He then met with his war cabinet. Blinken also pushed for a renewed path to talks about a two-state solution. Netanyahu, after the talks with Blinken, rejected a ceasefire. He said that he would only consider a ceasefire when all of the hostages were returned. There are approximately 240 hostages in Gaza. They were taken when Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. Since the beginning of the war, more than 1,400 people in Israel have been killed. The majority of them were killed on that day. Sam Mednick with the Associated Press for CGTN in Jerusalem.